Singaporean officials say that security uh, efforts are now fully in place for that meeting. The Home Affairs and Law Minister K. Shun Mugan says that he is uh, confident uh, that security uh, is in place for the June 12th summit between uh, President Trump and Kim Jong-un. He made those comments at a security briefing uh, earlier today here in Singapore. And my colleague Tan Su Hui has that story. Be it on land or at sea, security arrangements are in place for the summit on June 12. These include border controls, increased vigilance and checks on vehicles and people at high security areas. We're just opposite Marina Bay Sands. Earlier, we saw emergency response team officers patrolling the vicinity. Now, they're not just stationed here, they can be deployed anywhere. In C2 reaction teams, which are stationed at iconic locations to conduct patrols, have also been deployed. Speaking at a security briefing, Mr. Shanmugam said 5,000 home team officers are on the ground. The fact that it had to be put together in two weeks, uh, on, off, two weeks, that added tremendously to the, uh, the pressure and the logistics uh, uh, demands. But I think the officers have worked around the clock. We are quietly confident that we have uh, put, in, put in place the preparations. He also said at least four people have been turned away at Singapore's immigration checkpoints in the lead-up to the summit. This include former terror suspect Zaki Mala from Australia and a man from an ASEAN country who was refused entry after officers noticed him behaving suspiciously. Behavioural assessment is a key part of their training. He couldn't answer the questions they asked. And they checked his mobile phone and they saw that he has been um, checking through uh, visiting sites on suicide bombings. And they made an assessment that he ought to be turned around. Separately, the police have issued a stern warning to two South Korean media personnel who allegedly trespassed into the North Korean ambassador's home earlier this week. Their work passes were cancelled and they were repatriated on Saturday.